How you doing today, guys? Welcome back to another day of 7 Great Math. This is Mr. Gomez, your favorite teacher in the whole world. And today, we're going to be talking about personal budgets. Yes, that's right. We're going to itemize um, all the expenses that we have within a month and uh, make do of uh, the money that we have available per month to, co uh, to, it, to be able to pay all those expenses. And also compare what percentage goes to each one of those expenses back and forth either percent to amount or amount to percent what whatever is given so for this assignment i have already done a video like this before it's gonna it's gonna be basically about the same sheet but a little more detail this time i'll leave a link for you over here this time i'm just gonna go a little bit faster but before i do that please go ahead and consider subscribing if you haven't done so if you would like to support the channel there's a link down in the description. Also, turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any future content. And other than that, let's get right into it. So, getting right into it. Basically, for this type of work, we're gonna do. We're gonna be using the formula not formula it's just um proportions so we're gonna use part over total equals percent over 100. in this case in particular we're gonna be using this formula for a long time in seventh grade basically about 70 percent of what we do in seventh grade is gonna be able to be answered with this formula or this type of proportion so since we're talking about money, on the left side, we're going to put in whatever is the money amount. And on the right side, whatever the percentages are. And in this case, the part over total. So basically, the total is going to be the maximum amount of money that we have, which in this case is going to be the monthly income. In this case, the monthly income is $5,000. So this will be my total budget. So $5,000 is going to be a hundred percent of my budget with that said all the other categories all the money that we're going to be spending is going to be part now this time i want you to go ahead and close your computer because you're looking at anime when you're not supposed to be working on anime everybody close your computers and pay attention now with that said, and with those computers closed, we can go ahead and move on. So if we look at this graph, how do we call these type of graphs? Circle graph or also pie chart. So the, the purpose of the circle graph is that the whole circle represents what percent? The whole circle represents what percent? The total, which is what percent? A hundred percent. So the whole circle is a hundred percent. And in this case, if you want to put in an amount to it, how much will the whole circle be? What is it? Amount. Money amount. Five thousand. So this whole circle represents five thousand dollars. Now, when we look at this, we're gonna. Uh, split the circle into different categories and we're going to compare it to this table on the side so i have rent is 12 1250 uh taxes 16 percent food for uh, 14 percent some of them are given in percentages some of them are given in amounts so for example if i look at the rent it says the rent is 1250 but i need to know what percent of my total which is five thousand dollars is 1250 so for that we're going to use the formula part over total equals percent over 100 and we're just gonna sub in the values that we know a hundred is always known whether it's given or not it's always there now for this one everything in this column is gonna be my part and everything on this column are gonna be my percentages that goes along that formula so for part on number on the rent I'm gonna put in the 1250 that I know the total is 5,000 equals percent. I don't know the percent. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to put in the variable X because I'm looking. It's an unknown. And the bottom is 100. Now that I have this, I can just go ahead and do cross multiply or what is also known as butterfly on the slang, right? So I'm just going to do cross multiply. 
So this is going to be 5,000x equals to, whenever you multiply by 100, all you really have to do is add two zeros, right? Okay, now we have a one-step equation. 5,000 times x equals to 125,000. My, my first step is going to be to divide by 5,000. What I do to one side, must do to the other side. This cancels out, so x equals, at this point you can do table. I'm going to skip all that because I'm going to make it easier. If we notice, how many zeros does, does the top have? Three, three. three at the end, correct? Now look at the bottom, how many zeros does that have? I can just go ahead and cross them out. As long as they're the same number of zeros, both of, both of them at the end, I can take them out. If one of them has three zeros and the other one has two at the end, I can eliminate two zeros, so forth and so on. So in this case, I have 125 divided by five, and when I divide, I get 25%. So the rent is 25% of the total monthly budget. So that means $1,250 is 25% of the $5,000 total that we have. Let me write this like this so that you can see it. Go from there. Now, if, if we look at food, food says 14% and we need to know the amount now. So we're going to do it the same way. I'm actually going to show you two different ways to do this. So for this one, if we use the formula, the part, I don't know. The part is what I'm looking for now, which is the money amount. How much money goes into food? I don't know, but I know my total is $5,000 equals. Now I do know the part of the percent that goes to that, which is 14% and the bottom is 100. So anybody disagree? I'm just setting up the formulas with the known and unknown values. The unknown value is this right here. I'm looking how much money goes into food. I don't know, but I know what percent goes into food, 14%. So I'm going to use the same thing. At this point, same process with the butterfly. So I have 100x equals 5,000 times 14 gives me how much? That, right? 70,000, right? Okay, very good. So now, all I got to do is divide by 100, or I can just cross out two zeros, so X equals $700. So, $700 goes to food. And if we pay a little bit of attention, just in case we want to know if we did something wrong or not, let's look at number, uh, taxes is 16%. Food is 14%. It's less than taxes, right? So if we look at the amounts, I expect the food to be less than $800. Is $700 less than $800? Yes. And so far, it, it seems like I'm doing right. Now, what if I don't want to do all that? Easy. For example, let's look at the same problem. The other way that I can do that is just go ahead and convert percent to decimal. Move the decimal two places to the left and then multiply by the total. And if I do that, my answer is going to be the same thing. 5 times, and times 0 0.14 equals 700. And you can do the same thing for all of this. If you only have one digit, you move twice, fill it with zeros, and then you multiply by 5,000. 5, for all of them, you can do the same thing. If there's empty spaces, Multiply by 5,000 because that's my total and you will get the values that you need for the amount. For this one, 15%, point 15 times 5,000 should give you 750. And if I look, 16, 14, 800, 700, in between is 15. So this is in between 700 and 800, kind of makes sense, right? It's in the middle. This one, convert to decimal, multiply by 5,000. And it should give you the answer for all of this. Now, you can do that. You can multiply. You will get the answer for the amount value. But let me show you something. Let's just make some sense of this real quick. If I look at taxes, if I look at taxes, what percent is taxes? 16%, right? 
Now let's look at clothing. What percent is clothing? 8%. So what happened between 16 and 18? And 8, sorry. Just the, the percent. What happened between 16 and 8? It divided by what? By 2, right? So 16, 8 is half of 16. So you divide it by 2. So if you take the money amount and divide it by 2, what will you get? 800 divided by 2 gives you how much? 400. You put it right there. Right? Because 16, 8 is half of 16. 400 is half of 800. However, if you multiply this right here, you will get the same answer. Now let's look at uh, credit card. What percent is credit card? Four. four. What happened bef between eight and four? You divide it by what? Two. By two. So what's half of 400? 200. 200. Boom. Now if you multiply 0 0.4 times, I mean 0 0.04 times 5,000, you will get 200. Don't we have another 4% somewhere? Number seven, so how much will that be? So it'll be 200, right? Now, let's look at uh, transportation. What percent is transportation? Six. If we're thinking about it, how do you know it's 300? You're taking half of what? You're, I know what you think. Okay, okay, so let's think about it. Six, is six in the middle between eight and four? Is six between eight and four, like right in the middle? Yeah. Yes. So what's in the middle of 400 and 200? 300. Now, if you can, if you can figure this out just thinking about it, again, you can always multiply right there and you will get the same answer. Now, let's look at savings. What do we know about savings? Savings is what? 400 what? Dollars, right? And we get that from right here. So savings is four hundred dollars. So we can go ahead and put that in here. So four hundred. We already know what percent is four hundred, right? Eight percent. And then we're done with the table. Super easy. Now let's look at the two questions on the bottom. And it says. Number eight, name three items in the budget whose sum equals the taxes. First of all, I need, I need to know how much are the taxes. How much are the taxes? What is $800? So three items, three items that add up to 800. What are those three items? Looking back at the... So savings, how much is savings? So I need 400 more, but I need two more items. Savings, what else? Emergency. How much is that? I need 200 more. Credit card is also 200. So when I add those three up, I get 800 and I'm good to go. And I'm pretty sure you can do some other combinations. As long as there are three items that add up to $800, you should get it correct. Now let's look at number nine. It says, what items does the sum of medical, transportation, and emergency fund equal? So how much is medical? How much is medical? How much is medical? 750. How much is transportation? 300. And how much is emergency? And when you add them all up, what do you get? 12,000, 12,000, 1,250, right? What item has the same amount from the table? What item has the same amount from the table? Rent. So these three items are the same as rent. So when you add those percentages, it should give you what percent? 25%. All right. So, at this time, if there's any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If you learned something today, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, go ahead and watch it again so until you learn. Then give it a thumbs up. Share it somebody who's uh, in the same subject right now.
If you want to support the channel, link down in the description. If you haven't seen my other channel, MTV Alex, check it out. Other than that, that is going to be it for this one. Stay tuned because on the next video, I'm going to do a couple of samples on the actual assignment that my students are going to be working on right here. At this time, that is it for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.